killed everyone on the roster. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. So Warner Brothers did not learn anything from working with Sweet Baby Inc and developing Suicide Squad kill the Justice League. As you guys know, that game flopped so hard, it was a disappointment. But some news came out that Warner Brothers is doubling down a live service game because they believe single player experience games are dead. And I find this hilarious because look, I'm somebody who has been a gamer for the 27 years that I've been alive. Have I played live service games? Of course I have. Do I like live service games? Hell no, because they try to take advantage of you. And I'm surprised there's always been people out there that they still fall for the trap. They bitch and moan because, oh my God, they got so many microtransactions, but yet they continue to support. I stopped supporting live service games even to games like hell divers 2 that as far as i know doesn't have as crazy amount of microtransactions and a lot of people are actually enjoying it i still don't see me playing that type of game i want an experience i want to play a game with a good story with a phenomenal gameplay that's what i want but it looks like one of brothers isn't interested in that they want to have you locked into one franchise and they're going to try to milk every cent in your pocket because that's all they want they want your money but they don't care if the game's good they don't care if the story's good they don't care if the gameplay is good as long as you are spending your time your money on their game that's all they want they spent nine plus years working on, on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And that game did get killed. But it was due to the wokeness, to the idiots that were developing this game. If you truly think that the same people that created the iconic Batman games worked on this game, on Suicide Squad, you are retarded and you need help. Suicide Squad is probably the worst example ever of just how bad you could be at developing games. And it's probably gonna get even worse. It's probably gonna get worse. But it looks like for Warner Brothers, they're gonna double down. They are gonna want to continue to go in the route of live service games, whether it's Batman related, Superman related, Justice League related, or I'm afraid that for Harry Potter fans, which I am a Harry Potter fan, Hogwarts Legacy 2, do not be surprised if that becomes a live service game because they saw the success that the first one had and a lot of the reason why that game was very successful because the game was mid at best was because of the backlash from the woke losers now there's even talks of a potential hogwarts legacy being a live service game for one of brothers because why they want to have you in this little bubble they want to control you. They want to take your money. They want you to spend it on everything in a live service game. So are you going to allow them to take advantage of you? Or are you going to step up and speak with your wallet? That's what you should do. But hey, the problem is a lot of people say stuff and they continue to do the opposite. It's time for us to do something and it looks like we are winning in some ways but the battle 
continues. The war isn't over. It continues. Sweet Baby Inc. I love what I've been seeing from them. Getting killed. Getting murdered. I love seeing the destruction of Sweet Baby Inc. But whenever Sweet Baby Inc. disappears. Guess what's going to happen guys. Another one's going to take its place. Just telling you. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you guys excited about a potential more live service games from Warner Brothers with their iconic IPs? Are you excited for a Hogwarts Legacy live service game? Or are you just tired of live service games, specifically the ones that are really bad and they just want to milk every cent in your pocket? Or do you think maybe single games aren't dead? And we actually want single player games. Hmm, I don't know. Remember back in the days when we would get single player games? Multi multiplayer games? And then we would get live service games. Hmm. Looks like gaming really, really went somewhere else. But hey, who knows, man? Who knows? Who knows? Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. I just leveled up, I thank God.